Here comes the field for tonight's second race. First of two Tompkin Gear Stakes trots for Colts. This is a Colt trot, not a Philly trot. One George's Shadow, owned by Frank Sicanesi, driven by Tony Price. Two LB Reply, owned by Leonard Buckner with Jeff Fout. Three Overs Technique, owned by driver Willard Miller and Alan Besco. Four Sierra Crown, owned by Pat Huber. Harold Breedenbach and Kathy Montgomery with Dick Richardson, Jr. Number five, Super Goal K, leased by Robert Key and John Glessman with Brad Hanners. Six, Keystone Futur, owned by Max Hemp and Roger Hammer. Roger Hammer will be in the sulky. Sponsored by Brittany Farms, first of two trots. This one for 19,200. Three-year-old Colts with less than six minutes still post up. Starting gate is underway. Field for tonight's second race at the gate and moving through the clubhouse turn. George's Shadow and Tony Price. Two LB reply and Jeff Fout. Three overs technique driven by Willard Miller. Number four, Sierra Crown and Dick Richardson. Junior five, Super Goal K, Brad Hanners. Six, Keystone, Fuhr and Roger Hammer. 19,200. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and trotting. The one Georgia's shadow is off straight at the start. Overs Technique is the leader. Middle of the racetrack, Sierra Crown second. Far outside, Super Goal K to third. Along the rail, LB reply fourth. Keystone Fjord fifth. Far back after that costly misstep. Georgia's shadow talking about a costly misstep. Sierra Crown is on a break. Rolling by the opening quarter mile pole, sensing a slow first quarter. Brad Hanners comes to the outside with Super Goal K. Overs Technique alongside, 29 and 2. Pretty well spaced out in here, trotting past the stands to the half mile pole. LB Reply is now off stride, but quickly settles in as they move under the finish line the first time. Super Goal K opens up about four lengths of daylight. Overs Technique second, Keystone Fewer third. Not out of it yet, Sierra Crown, LB Reply, and Georgia Shadow. As the first five have about a dozen separating them, reaching the half mile pole in 59 and 3. They're out of the turn and down the backstretch. Super Goal K bouncing along with a four length lead. Overs Technique fills the gap in second. Keystone Fuhr is third. Sierra Crown with a rush on the outside. He has got an absolute ton of trot now and is moving quickest of all the far outside. Super Goal K by the diminishing three. Sierra Crown picks up the chase. LB Reply moving from fifth, racing by three quarters at a sharp, 129 and two. Grand Circuit Trotters move to the head of the stretch. Super Goal K continues to lead the way. Sierra Crown is off stride again. Here comes LB Reply moving up on the far outside. He's now the main danger. They're into the stretch. Super Goal K, LB Reply is charging at him. LB Reply on the outside now gets the lead. Super Goal K is fighting back too wide here and who do you like? Here comes the unofficial winner of tonight's second race. Number two, LB Reply, three-year-old Bay Gelding by Carry the Message out of whirling success. Owned in Mount Eaton, Ohio by Leonard Buckner. Trained by Tom Brinkerhoff. Hard driven tonight by Jeff Fout. Covering that mile here in two minutes and three fifths to LB Reply, the winner of tonight's second race. Scioto Downs is honored to have in the winner's circle representing Brittany Farms, Hall of Fame trainer Gene Regal, along with son Bruce Regal and other members of the Regal family representing Brittany Farms for tonight's Tompkins Gears first trophy presentation. Post time 14 minutes away at 7.40. The 2.5 exact of $44 even. The try, 148 even. 6.2 daily double, $59.40. Windows are now up and on tonight's third race as this 15 race program continues. Scratch number nine, Sharp Steve. Scratch nine, Sharp Steve. Post time, 14 minutes away, 7.40.
tapped out of the second, Georgia Shadow, sixth LB reply, the winner. Overs Technique, fourth, Sierra Crown, fifth, Super Goal K, second, Keystone Fuhrer was third. 614-523 in the mile, two minutes and three-fifths.